Greetings, it's yours truly, April. Might be wondering why I've been away for three months. Well, that's because I've been busy. I've been working on projects and generally I've been working on something I will be revealing in a minute. Uh, let's jump straight into the video though. What is tech core? So tech core essentially is hardcore, but you have all of these other genres like dubstep, future bass, um, color bass as well, mixed into like this nice, neat hardcore package. Um, I think the Japanese invented tech core. I could be wrong though, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> so, so let's jump straight into the video. So guys, before we start this video, quick plug on my sample pack, Zafias, 50% off for two weeks. Perfect sample pack if you are making hardcore, hard dance, tech core, future core. Um, pump core, like whatever you're making has really nice samples and all of the samples are usable. I went for the quality over quantity approach and I will be updating this, this sample pack over time as well. So if you purchase it now, you're going to get the updates for free as well over time. So be giving away 10 copies of Safias. So if you're interested, follow my Twitter and Instagram and I'll be making posts on each platform as well, telling you how to enter the giveaway. So anyway, let's jump straight into the video. All right, so before we jump into this, let's listen to it again. All right, so what the hell just happened, right? Um, let's start off with the kick. Uh, this is from my sample pack as well. Um, basic kick. Didn't really need any processing on this kick, so. Uh, I did layer it with a clap for a high-end crisp. Now it's really snappy and has this nice high end. Um, crash, hi hat. All these samples are from a sample pack, so they're all pre processed. You don't really need to do much on them. Uh, right, loop, crowd layer, and a fill. Basically, it's, this is a basic UK hardcore, uh, hardcore uh, percussion setup. All right, so first thing you hear in the song, and also in most tech core songs, is either a chord step in the beginning or a growl hit, or even both in some cases. Uh, for this instance, there is just this here. So what happens? Um, first of all, there's a crash playing, and there's a chord hit, which is really fat. And there is a bass playing. So all together, they really fill out the whole spectrum. So that's why it sounds big. I think most people know how to make a chord stack. So I don't really want to make a include this in this video. But if you have a question on how to make uh, these chord stacks, then just comment below and I'll make a future video. The bass for this chord stack, uh, it's an electro, electro bass. So it's basically just a saw wave with some bright white noise going through tube. Without the tube, it sounds like this. Not really good, right? So we want the distortion. We want the white noise basically to add some randomness to the sound while also adding some crisp. So it doesn't sound boring. Um, so here comes the meat of the song. All right, so let me play the lead by itself. So for tech core, you kind of want to sound futuristic and this kind of lead kind of invokes the feeling of the future for me. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel about it. Um, so basically what how the sound is made of is we take a sine wave and then we FM it with any wave table you want, which you think has good harmonics, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be this one. And you put it three octaves above the bass layer. So this is how it sounds with FM. And then you can also add some clickiness for the attack and um, Add some processing to the wavetable as well. Like for this instance, I use spent minus. 
uh, processing some flanger, some distortion. Uh, just add some thickness to the sound. Some hyper for stereo. Uh, phaser for some stereo. Chorus for some stereo. Some delay um, to make it sound bigger. A reverb and a filter to get rid of the low end. Um, right now though, I felt like I'm missing a transient to the sound, like some kind of impact. So I took the same sound and what all I did basically was go to the filter, make it a low cut, and then uh, autom automate it with this envelope here. So it ha it's like clicky synth, uh, the sound sounds. So together. All right, so I'm routing both of these sounds to this uh, channel here. Uh, and I'll go through everything I do here. So uh, Faturator uh, for some fatness, I guess. Dispersa for some uh, transit movement, I guess. Frequency shifter. And then I have shifted the mids a bit lower because I felt like it's missing some low mids. But then I just blended it, blended it a bit in again. So... It doesn't really overpower anything. And as for post processing, I have a resonator uh, to get kind of get the base um, to get the base note of the lead to give it some more melodic factor, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, some chorus again and some EQ to get rid of the annoying frequencies. Then I put this through a uh, Cal Crusher to a British Clean preset. Some vocal decks which is really important to the sound. Which accentuates the futuristic feel. Uh, OTT, uh, EQ again to get rid of the annoying frequencies. Sidechain, which is common. <laughs> uh, Golfos, well, this plugin basically gets rid of all the bad frequencies. Uh, you can set to how strong it will be. It will be applying the frequency adaptation. Uh, I set it to 108% here. So let me A and B it. Just gets rid of the really bad frequencies and then put it some saturation again to get the volume up. So A and B comparison. Pretty weak, right? Some my processing. Hell yeah! Now we right now we're talking. Um, so another element that's playing while the lead is playing is the bass. So originally in hardcore you have either sidechain bass or offbeat bass. However, for this kind of genre, you want it groovy. You want it um, to have some rhythm to the uh, sound, uh, um, rhythm to the bass, right? So, what you want to do is get a really nice pattern, and that's it, basically. Um, again, this is a really basic uh, preset. This is a factory preset from Serum. It's uh, if you go under bass, uh, you will find this preset, and then. Post processing again, just some saturation and again, uh, some sidechain. Okay, so for the next video, what I plan on doing is show you how to do the background effects and other kind of type of uh, things that are important because this is pretty bare bones but it already sounds pretty interesting um which is the great thing about tech core like you don't need it to be very complicated it could be very simple but also very interesting at the same time so before i drag this on for too long like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more comment if you want to support me and i'll see you next time peace